Roll it like this so that it fits into our extruder. That looks good to me. And then we squeeze it out. This red one reminds me of red vines. Mmm, I love getting them at the movie theater. Alright, that looks long enough. Next, we're gonna give it a little twist. It wouldn't be licorice without a twist. And then we just cut off the ends. And now we have a perfect piece of red licorice. We'll just set that right there and move on to our orange one. Again, we're just gonna roll it up until it fits into our extruder. And then we squeeze. I've never seen orange licorice before, but I'd imagine the flavor is citrusy. What do you guys think? Now let's do our yellow one. We just put that right in there. And give it a little squeeze. And a little twist, of course. I'm guessing this flavor's banana. Now let's move on to our green one. Ah! Don't worry, I got it. We just put that right in there. And then we squeeze. Yum, I bet this one's green apple. Now let's do our blue one. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Let me know in the comments what your favorite color is. And there we have our blueberry licorice. And last but not least, here's our purple one. This purple one's gotta be grape flavor. I don't know about you guys, but grape flavor candy always reminds me of medicine. Yuck! Alright, the rainbow fun doesn't end there. We're going to be making one strip of licorice that has all the colors of the rainbow. Let's start out with some purple. And then we stack our blue one on top. Followed by our green one. And you guessed it, yellow. And orange. And red. Now let's tighten it up so it fits into our extruder. Here's a little trick if you don't have a lot of Play-Doh. You don't have to push it in through the back. You can just unscrew the top and put it in that way. Okay, I hope this turns out. 
here goes nothing. Hopefully we can see all the colors. Here's purple. Here's blue. Ooh, and the green. Followed by the yellow. I'm seeing some orange. And our last color is red. Phew, I'm glad this turned out. Now let's finish off the details with a little twist. And then we just cut off the ends. Yum, and here's all the licorice we made. I just love how colorful it is. This was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, uh, some Disney toys here. And today, we're gonna be doing a DIY rainbow popsicle. All we need is some Play-Doh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and brown. I also cut out the shape of a popsicle to use as a guide. We're gonna need something to cut with, a cookie cutter, a cookie cutter with ridges, a popsicle stick, and a roller. We'll start out with our purple Play-Doh. We'll press it down and then roll it out flat. Now we'll lay the guide right on top and then cut around it. Using the guide ensures that all of our layers are the same shape, so later when we stack them, they'll lay perfectly on top of each other. And here's our purple layer of our popsicle. We'll do the same thing for the blue. And here's our blue layer. Time for the green. And here's our green layer. Next up is yellow. You guys should have the hang of this by now. And here's our yellow one. We're almost done, everyone. Our next one is orange. And here's orange. Our last layer is red. And here's our last layer, the red one. Now let's start stacking our layers. We'll start with purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. So this is going to be the inside of our popsicle, and the outside is going to be covered in chocolate. We just need to roll out some brown Play-Doh, and once we get it nice and flat, we can use our cookie cutter to cut out a shape. I'm using a star, but you can definitely use whatever shape you want. We'll just take out the star with our knife. And then we're going to lay this chocolate right on top of our popsicle. And our star cutout reveals the color at the bottom. We're going to carefully mold the chocolate all around our popsicle. Oh, 
I'll take off the excess Play-Doh as needed. And here's our chocolate-covered rainbow popsicle. We'll add our popsicle stick. That's looking pretty tasty. But to reveal all of our hard work on the inside, we're gonna use the cookie cutter with the ridges. And we're gonna take a big bite out of our popsicle. Ooh, look at all those rainbow colors. Yum, I love how this turned out. This is one delicious looking popsicle. If you guys want me to do more videos making popsicles, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney toys here. And today I'm bringing you another Play-Doh rainbow activity. So we've done a rainbow ice cream sandwich, a rainbow donut, and now we're going to be doing a rainbow ice cream swirl. I can't wait to get started! All you need to make this is white Play-Doh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. All the colors of the rainbow! And something to put it on, like a plate, if you have one. You're also going to need something with an edge, like this Play-Doh knife. And a Play-Doh swirl extruder. Let's get started! So for this swirl, we're going to start from the bottom up. So what's the last color of the rainbow? If you said purple, you're right! Let's start molding the purple into a long cylinder shape so we can put it in our extruder. The purple is going to be the base, so it has to be the largest. And then we'll slowly get smaller from there. We just squeeze the Play-Doh out. Whoa, look at how long that's getting! Perfect, now let's just cut it off. And then we swirl it around. This looks like grape ice cream. Now for the blue one. We're going to make this one slightly smaller than the purple one. Hmm, if this was ice cream, I think it'd be blueberry ice cream. Now we do the same thing and just swirl it around. That looks good to me. Let's carefully put it on top of our purple. Yes, that looks good! Time for our green one! And remember, the green one's going to be slightly smaller than the blue one. Let's give it a little twirl. Mmm, look at all those layers! Let's do the yellow one! If this one was ice cream, I think it'd be lemon! What do you guys think? Now let's just cut it off, and then we swirl it around. Yum! We're almost done! Time for the orange! This one I think is orange creamsicle! Yes! That looks good! Let's do the red one! The red one's gonna be second to smallest! This kind of looks like licorice. 
Now what's an ice cream swirl without some whipped cream on top? This is where the white Play-Doh comes in. We take a little bit of the white Play-Doh and put it in our extruder. And then we just squeeze it right on top. Yes, I love the way this came out. It looks good enough to eat. This was so much fun. If you guys like these DIY rainbow activities, give this video a thumbs up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh, Rapunzel's Garden Tower. I can't wait to see what we could do with this playset. It looks like we could roll braids, decorate the tower, decorate Rapunzel's dress, and make her friends. Let's open it up. We get three sparkle Play-Doh. Here's a yellow one. A green one. And a purple one. Here's a roller to make the braids. And a piece to make the tower. We also get this princess playmat. And here's Rapunzel's garden tower. There are a bunch of things on the outside that we can create. And if you open the tower up, you can make a two-sided mold. Cool, we can make Pascal. And here's Princess Rapunzel. You can buy more princesses and mix and match their dresses. Let's open up the tower and create some molds from here. I'll use the purple sparkly play-doh. Here's Maximus. In the movie, he's a white horse, but for today we'll make him purple, with glitter. Let's create some more molds. This looks really cool. I'm not quite sure what it is. Can you guys tell me? And here's a paintbrush. Now let's use some of the green sparkly Play-Doh. Here's Rapunzel's friend, Pascal.
Pascal was one of my favorite characters in the movie. Now I'll design the tower with some Play-Doh. The sparkly green vine with the purple and yellow flowers makes this tower look really pretty. To use the roller, just attach it on the bottom of Rapunzel. We made some braids for Rapunzel! Now let's make her hair really long! You can even use the Play-Doh to design Rapunzel's dress! She looks elegant! Well this set was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And today we're bringing you the Play-Doh Sesame Street 1-2-3 Lunchbox Fun Set! Here's the front of the box! And here's the back of the box. Let's start by opening up the box. Here are the first set of tools that they provide for us. And here are the second set of tools that they provide for us. Here's the playmat that we'll be using. And here's an extruder. We can make anything from one to four pieces. They provide us with the purple Play-Doh, an orange Play-Doh, a blue Play-Doh, a yellow Play-Doh, and a red Play-Doh. Let's open up the first packet. Here are all the molds that we'll be using. We can make a pizza. This comes in not nine, but six pieces. Here we can make an apple. We can make five pieces from the apple. We can make one lemon, two cherries, 
three bananas, four tomatoes, and five grapes. Let's open up the second packet. We can make one piece of bread. We can cut the bread in half. Or we can cut the bread in four pieces. We also get a plate. A fork and a knife. A pizza cutter. And a roller. Let's start by making the pizza. We'll use the red Play-Doh. We'll use the orange Play-Doh for the crust. We'll use the roller to flatten it out. Here's our pizza hot off the oven. Now let's cut it into six pieces. We made six slices of pizza. Here are the first three. Don't they look good? Now let's use the yellow Play-Doh to make one piece of bread. Cool. Now we'll cut the bread in half and make two. Yum. Now let's make four pieces of bread. Nice! We cut our bread in four pieces. We'll use the red Play-Doh to make an apple. Remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Let's cut our apple into five. Yum! Now let's make one lemon. That looks sour. We'll use the blue Play-Doh to make two cherries. That looks really good! Now let's use the orange Play-Doh to make three bananas. Awesome! We'll use the red Play-Doh to make four tomatoes. Here are our tomatoes. Now let's use the purple Play-Doh to make five grapes.
We have five perfect grapes. Now let's use the extruder. We can make one, two, three, or four shapes. We'll use the purple Play-Doh to make four shapes. That looks cool. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Marvel Can Heads. We'll be playing with Iron Man and the Hulk today. I was really excited when I saw this Play-Doh set, so I hope it doesn't let me down. Here's the back of the set. Let's examine Iron Man first. It's very simple to assemble. All you have to do is attach the Iron Man Play-Doh onto Iron Man's body. Iron Man also has a stamp on the bottom. And here's the Hulk Play-Doh can. You could press down on his head for Hulk to do Hulk Smash. He also has some molds on his body. And he can also create fissures on the earth. And we also get some stamps on the bottom as well. That's so much fun! We also get this red Play-Doh. Now let's use some of the blue Play-Doh to design Iron Man. This blue Play-Doh is supposed to light Iron Man up. Nice! Thumbs up if you're a big Iron Man fan! Now let's create a stamp! Cool! My turn. Hulk! Smash! Whoa. I never want to mess with Hulk. But let's use some of this green play though. Hmm. 
Hmm, this is a little trickier than I thought, but once you get it down, it should look like this. Now let's use some of this red Play-Doh. We made a red tank! Now I'll use some blue Play-Doh to make a fighter jet. Hulk can probably bring this down in one second. And I'll use some more green Play-Doh to make a tire. Nice! And here are some more molds that we can create with Hulk's feet. This Play-Doh set was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone! Awesome Dizzy Toys here! And today we're bringing you Play-Doh, Amulet and Jewel's Vanity, from Sophia the First. Here's the front of the box, and here's the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. Here's the base for the vanity. Here's the headband for the tiara. These are all the other accessories for Sophia the First. And this is the mirror for the vanity. And here's the Play-Doh that this playset provides. Let's start by opening up the Play-Doh. We get one sparkly pink Play-Doh, one sparkly purple Play-Doh, and a can of pink Play-Doh. Here's the mirror for the vanity. This will attach to the base of the set. Now let's see all the other accessories. Here's the bracelet. This is the ring. Here's the tiara. You could snap it on to the headband. And this is Sophia's amulet. You can attach it to the necklace. Let's start by creating Sophia's tiara first. We'll use the pink sparkly Play-Doh. That looks really pretty! Our tiara is complete! You can place the tiara on top of the mirror like this. 
Now let's make Sophia's amulet. We'll use the purple sparkly play-doh. That looks really nice! Here's Sophia's very important amulet! You can place the amulet on the mirror as well! Now it's time for us to create the jewels for our rings! We'll start off by making a robin jewel, Sophia's bird friend. Let's use the pink play-doh. Now let's use the pink sparkly play-doh to make a clover jewel. Sophia's rabbit friend. And we'll use this purple sparkly play-doh to make a whatnot jewel. Sophia's squirrel friend. Now let's try on all the jewels. This one's really pretty. I like this one too! This one looks very elegant! Now it's time for us to design the bracelet! We'll make a flower and a jewel heart! Here's our purple flower. Let's make another one. Now let's make a pink jewel heart. This bracelet is perfect for Sophia! This playset was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching Awesome Disney Toys! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And today we're bringing you a Play-Doh mix and match featuring the Disney princesses! We'll be able to design each princess's dress with Play-Doh. And we can have the princesses try on different dresses. Give a thumbs up if you like Disney princesses. Here's what we can do with this playset. Let's start by opening up Princess Cinderella. Okay. 
Here's the dress that we'll be designing. We can also make stamps. And here are the two sparkly Play-Doh that we get. We get a pink and blue sparkly Play-Doh. Now let's open up Princess Ariel. Here's her dress that we get to design today. And here are the stamps that she can make. And we also get a purple and green sparkly Play-Doh. Now let's open up our third princess. It's Snow White. This dress looks like it'll be a lot of fun! And here are the stamps that we can make! And we get a blue and pink sparkly Play-Doh! Let's start by designing Princess Cinderella's dress! We'll use the pink and blue sparkly Play-Doh! Be sure to wrap the Play-Doh around carefully and fill in all the spaces. If you get any excess Play-Doh that comes out of the space, you can just grab a little ball of Play-Doh and dab on it to take it out easier. Right now we're designing Cinderella's dress and we'll soon be designing Ariel and Snow White. Who's your favorite Disney princess? I'd love to hear who your favorites are. Just write it in the comments below. That pink decoration looks really nice! Now let's add some blue! When you play with the set, be sure to fill it in carefully because your Play-Doh might smear with the other colors. Cinderella's dress is filling in nicely! We're almost done designing this dress!
How does it look? Now let's create some stamps. Here are all the stamps that Princess Cinderella can make. I did it in both blue and pink. We can also make Jack or Gus, not really sure which one it is. Do you guys know? We can also make Princess Cinderella a tiara with Play-Doh. We'll finish the dress off by decorating it some more. Now let's move on to Princess Ariel. Here's the dress that we'll be designing. We'll use the purple and green sparkly Play-Doh. If you watched Little Mermaid, let me know who your favorite character in Little Mermaid was. Designing this dress can get a little messy with the Play-Doh, so you can just clean it up like this. 